this is Kevin, you're watching winksound.com. In this video, I'm gonna get into MIDI mapping and show you different ways to assign your MIDI controls. If you have a MIDI controller hooked up uh, for Ableton, uh, if you have one plugged in, go to Preferences, and uh, you should see one coming up as an active input. I don't have anything plugged in right now, but if you plugged it in, it probably wouldn't show up right away, and you could hit rescan. Um, and if you wanted to use it as a remote, you would have to click that to be on. So uh, to map out your MIDI points, hit Command M, and that'll come up again, or just click the uh, MIDI thing over here, the MIDI button. And now you have all these purple little highlighted areas that anything that's purple right now is uh, <coughs> assignable to a MIDI control. Uh, anything like uh, the gain on your EQ or go over here the volume levels, uh, pan levels, uh, launching clips is a very important thing. So you just click on it and you hit whatever button it is that you want on your MIDI controller. Uh, also, if you don't have a MIDI controller, you can key map everything. Um, you can launch a clip using the F button, for example. So you just click it, hit the F button, and you leave that. It'll launch that when you click F. Uh, this little piano right here uh, is a keyboard uh, MIDI control like piano. So uh, you can play some piano notes using your uh, your QWERTY keyboard. Uh, these little squares are important because they will show when you have MIDI data coming in. And as you can see, I got little little MIDI data coming in there. Uh, and when Ableton is sending MIDI data out, the bottom one will show up. Um, just while we're in this section here, the CPU load uh, will show up. So let me play this song and show that. As you can see, it takes up about 36% of my CPU load. Uh, if your RAM is not good, uh, it's good to save CPU load by freezing tracks and you can do that by coming over here and freezing the tracks in edit um, so get on that MIDI mapping and uh, it's a pretty useful tool if you have a MIDI controller because then it gives you the hands-on control like you're using a real instrument check out Kevin's new series of videos including these titles featuring Ableton Live available on demand at wigsound.com